Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you my each way Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse racing as usual here on the channel. And I want to make a quick apology for not making a video for today's race and there was a few uh, good uh, race meetings on uh, the likes of Foss Lass and Down and Navin. But for those that know I do work at Wind Canton as their social media reporter. And on Saturday, it was a very uh, busy day with the Badger Ales chase day, which was a fantastic day. I was on ITV racing a few times, and there's a clear uh, picture of me that I can put up on Twitter, which I will do later, so uh, you can see that I was on the telly and had my uh, little famous moment. But after getting home from Wincanton yesterday, I was absolutely shattered, and I'd never really got to look into um, today's racing, so uh, apologies there. But Wincanton, like I said, it was a good day. We did a special feature the night before, going through the card, and also putting a couple of tips at Aintree. You know what I mean, Harry, that we tipped at Aintree, putting a good uh, return and won there quite nicely. Also as well, uh, we backed Modus as well, um, Win count and we backed Hideaway Vic as well, which finished second in the bumper. And then we also were uh, tipped if the cap per uh, fits in the first race at Win Canton on Saturday in the novices race, but became a non runner. I changed my mind. I went on Twitter and I said I was gonna go from uh, if the cap fits to uh, kill Brick and Storm for Colin Tizard, and in the end it did win well. In the end, it was handed it on a plate really because the Paul Nichols horse did fall, but it always had that element that it was getting back in the race and chasing it down and maybe Kilbrook and Storm might have got there if the Nichols horse had stayed on its feet. So um, yeah, it wasn't a bad day on Saturday. It was a good fun day and I'm looking back to going there next time, which will be in a couple of weeks. So anyway, enough of me waffling on. I'm going to be going through uh, tomorrow's card. We're just going to be focusing at Kempton tomorrow. Now I know there's been a lot of criticism because obviously they want to uh, get rid of Kempton anyway, or they're considering it the jockey club and they want to keep jump racing at Kempton and tomorrow they would have had some good races on and still they have got some good races on there the prize money is good the conditions are fine but I know a lot of pundits and I do agree with them to a certain extent in some of the races where there's just a couple of horses running that the turnout is pretty poor but then again it's only a Monday really maybe they wanted a better card later on in the week or at the weekends but they still shouldn't have any complaints really the trainers for like the ground and the conditions and also as well Kempton as well is a great track and it's quite a fun uh, jump track to watch it's a very tough test for a horse but a lot of horses do get sent there and often deemed good horses if they win at Kempton so um yeah, it's a bit of a strange one, that. But anyway, enough of me uh, again waffling on. I'm going to be uh, getting stuck into uh, the first race uh, with us there uh, tomorrow. is in the 120 with a horse called Favorito uh, Bucks, uh, trained by Paul Nichols, who's had a very good strike rate at uh, Kempton this season already. He's uh, five winners from seven runners, so obviously that's a pretty decent statistic. Now, this horse, Favorito uh, Bucks, is handicapped off a mark of uh, one uh, two two. Also, as well, it will be uh, conceding weight to most of its rivals tomorrow. It is the top weight, and if you look at its form, it has been quite frustrating. Now, last time it made its seasonal reappearance at uh, Wynn Canton, where I was there again that day, and it fell when it was travelling quite well. And I thought maybe after a bit of a layoff. And also as well that it's still quite young, it's only five years old and was a novice chaser last season. It could maybe have learnt quite a lot with a break with uh, Paul Nichols, and maybe he's got more out of this horse ready for this season and it could be a potential improver. And I thought maybe a mark of 1-2-2 in this handicap company, it's dropping down kind of in grade to the kind of quality of horses it was up against last season. Could maybe go okay, and I thought a 13 to 2 is going to be our long shot tomorrow. That wasn't a bad one to uh, get us underway there. So that's going to be the first selection there tomorrow. Favorite, favorito Bucks, I should say. The second selection then is in the 150 at uh, Kempton, and we go for a horse here which is uh, going to be the nap for tomorrow. It's called Black Mischief. It's trained by Harry Fry, and Noel Feely takes the ride often. A very good combination. Harry Fry had a very good weekend this weekend, winning uh, a couple of races up in Aintree, had a couple of wins as well up in uh, Wincant, and so he's been in pretty good form of late. And Noel Feely rides very well for Harry Fry, gets a lot of winners 
is for him. I thought Black Mischief could go quite well tomorrow. It wasn't disgraced last time out in a grade two at Chepstow. And the form from that uh, race has held up a little bit. And there has been a couple of winners uh, produced from that race. Also as well, it did get a win um, under its belt last season at Warwick against a good quality field. And I thought maybe tomorrow off a mark of 129, it could definitely go very well. And I thought it could have a very good chance of being in the frame. And they keep the cheap pieces on tomorrow as well, which I think will definitely aid and help this horse. And I'm predicting that 10 to 3 to give us a win there. So that's the second selection there. Black Mischief. We then go to the 255 with another Harry Fry and Noel Feely combination with a horse called Bags Groove. Now I know it is the favourite at the moment, 9 to 4. But the way this horse won last time at Aintree in a quite a big handicap, we also tipped out that day. We uh, backed it at 7-1 and ended up going off at 3-1 to one when it won. But still, nice performance. This horse as well had a very good novice career, beating quite a lot of good rated horses. Also as well, still young, it's up and coming. The handicapper did whack it up a few pounds, I think it was seven pounds in total in the end um, for its uh, Aintree win, but it could be an interesting contender for some good handicaps later on down the line, and I still thought it could run a very good race tomorrow, especially with the way, like I've already touched upon, Harry's Fry stable normally get their act into gear this time of year, so I thought this one could definitely go very well, and would probably take all the beating tomorrow and could be the still the well handicapped horse so uh, that's the third selection there bags groove we then go to the last race on the card a conditional jockey's hurdle in the four o'clock and we're going for a horse here that has maybe frustrated a few people it's called jumping jack no i actually have backed it the last two times but it's run very well we've just get without getting his head in front and it's been in the frame the last few starts uh two starts ago it uh, ran at, um here at Kempton over the course and distance and pretty much threw it away to a Paul Nichols horse. But that horse did go on to win again at uh, Taunton. So um, the form maybe stands up there as well. Also as well, it only just finished uh, last time out behind Speedo Boy, which had been putting in some good performances at Huntington. And also as well, it finished behind um, a horse called Thunder that uh, went and won on again at Wincanton in a race at Market Raisins. So it has been running very well, but just been a bit unlucky. It definitely threw it away at Kempton last time. But I thought six to one was quite a massive price. It makes its handicap debut tomorrow for Mark of 106. Going to be carrying a good lightweight. It's trained by Chris Gordon, who's been in not too bad form of uh, late. Harry um, Teal takes a ride tomorrow, taking three pounds off. And I thought at six to one, that wasn't a bad uh, shout there. And that's going to be the last selection tomorrow for our Each Way Lucky 15. Anyway, they're the selections uh, for tomorrow. If you have any good tips of your own or want to take me on, uh, please let me know in the comments box below. I'd like to know what you guys got to say. Also as well, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Really appreciate all your support. We're nearly at 100 subscribers now, so I really want to get that as our target hopefully by the end of the month so please subscribe if you don't already also as well check us out on twitter and i'll post that picture like i said of me on itv racing so that's all i've got to say really gamble responsibly and hopefully we'll see you soon